Hi, so today I'm going to be doing a review on moisturizers. I feel that moisturizers are really important because you need to apply them before you put a foundation on because it helps the foundation blend out a lot smoother. So the first one I'm going to be talking about, and this is my least favourite because it's just... you'll find out why in a minute. Um, it's the Neutrogena Multi-Defense Daily Moisturizer. Oh, where do I start? The pros, very limited. Um, it's really light, applies smoothly to the skin, and it's affordable, really. It also has a um, SP. It's also SPF fifteen, and really, it's quite a small bottle, but you don't really have to use that much of it. But um, the cons to it, it's just. I feel when I put it on my skin that it tingles and especially the dry and sensitive one. If you're going to be making a dry and sensitive moisturiser, it should not tingle on someone's skin. Especially because if you, if I was to put this on someone who's got really sensitive skin, I mean, my skin isn't even sensitive, it's just really dry, their skin would turn out to be a total mess if I put this on it. So another one is, another con to it is that it doesn't stay, like for people who do makeup, for others and they need moisturisers, we, I need to have for what, well the skin types that it's for on the bottle and I've actually had to mark these myself on it. So I put normal to combination and I've wrote dry and sensitive on it. Well, the letters that it stands for. And I shouldn't have to do that, that should already be done for me on it. So the one thing I would like to change about it is, well one thing, two things even, is I would like for it to have less fragrance and actually state the skin type on the ball. The next foundation I'm going to talk about is Ole Total Effects 7 in 1 Fragrance Free Moisturiser. Did I say foundation? I meant moisturiser, right? Um, this one's sort of good, it's not as bad as those two. Um, the pros to this is it's really light and applies really smoothly to the skin. It's small, it's also pretty compact so you can just shove it in your handbag and go or shove it in your makeup kit and go. The only problem I have with this is that I don't feel that it lasts that long in the day. I like my moisturisers to keep my skin soft throughout the day, um, whereas I feel by the end of the day this is still, well not even by the end of the day, by the afternoon that I want to take off my makeup and moisturise again, obviously I don't, but you know, I would like, the one thing I would like to see for this is for it to last a lot longer during the day. Especially for the price, because I think it was like, it was well over £5. At least with these ones, these were only about £3 max each. But um, yeah, this one, it's not worth its price. There are far better moisturisers out than this, especially they're a lot cheaper as well, especially for that bit in. Anyways, the next one I'm going to talk about is Nivea Soft. Um, the good thing about this, it's got actually got quite a good few pros. It's light, it's really smooth, it's creamy, it applies well to the skin, and you also get really good results with the foundation. They also have a non-perfumed version. I've got the perfumed one. Even the perfumed one isn't really that bad. Um, it's also three pounds and it's a 200 milliliter or mil or whatever tub. So, and it's only three pounds. You know, you're not exactly going to complain at three pounds. The only problem that I have with it is it's way too big to fit in my handbag. So I would like to see a smaller compact one. I know to do a smaller compact one in the blue tub, but 
I feel that that's quite thick. I did use that at one point and I felt it was far too thick for my skin. I always felt like I was like not rubbing it in, I always felt like I was stretching it across my face. But um, yeah, so those are my favourite, well not favourite, this is my favourite. But um, those are the ones that I have used and to be honest, for if I'm going to recommend anything for, you know, women and drag and people like that, if I'm going to recommend anyone who's got dry skin like mine, I would recommend this. Highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. I recommended it to one of my friends because she had really badly dry skin. And she got the Norm Perfumes one and she sweared by it. Um, I literally swear by it, although I have to change my moisturisers every few months. Or in fact, I do it every month. Because I feel like my skin gets too used to it. So I like to change it a little. But um, yeah, so definitely buy this. It's only £3. So yeah, buy it. <laughs> Bye! Okay, so I know I said bye and stuff already, but um, I'm, I want to add a little update on to the end of it. Um, the reason why I haven't posted videos since that last one that I did um, was because I've been doing like makeup for drag queens and I've been working and stuff. I have got some new products. Um, I'm going to be doing a review and... Once I get used to them, I'm going to be doing a tutorial as well on them. So yeah, stick around. I will do tutorials when I can. I'm sorry that I haven't done that much. I will do some soon. I'm just trying to find a decent time to do it because I live... The, the area that I live in is pretty noisy, you know. My neighbours aren't exactly the quietest people, so it's hard for me to find time to do a tutorial. So, yeah. So I will do some. I'm gonna try and get someone in to actually show how what I would do on a different face, other than mine, because obviously I know my face off by heart, so I know what to do makeup-wise in my face. So I'm gonna try and get someone in to work on who's willing to have their have a video taken of them so yeah so stick around and I shall see you later bye